everyone and welcome to my channel if you're new here uh, my name is Teresa and I am documenting my knitting journey here on YouTube and uh, today I, I want to do a knit and chat because it has been a while since I uh, did one of those and I really love catching up with you guys and uh, talking about stuff while working on my knitting and uh, for this I have prepared myself with a little bit of tea um, I'm going to be working on my knitting. Uh, it would be fun if you also uh, are working on knitting or crochet or sewing or whatever project you're doing so we can do it together. Um, and uh, I just want to share uh, a bit about what's going on and work on some of my knits. Um, first of all, uh, the thing that I'm wearing is something that I knitted myself. Um, it is a sweater number 14 v-neck. I've worn it a few times already um, It has been featured a few times on this channel already and uh, it is one of my favorite sweaters It is so warm and also uh, very soft um, Also, I'm sorry about the light. Uh, I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but uh, it is very dark here all day I feel like so uh, If the lighting is really bad, I might have to invest in like a ring light or something but uh, yeah, let's get started. Uh, the project that I will be working on are two things. Uh, I think I want to be working on my Erica socks. I'm actually finishing them up as we speak. Um, I only have to do the toe and uh, then I'm finished. So that's not a lot. And uh, I want to work on um, my Gemma polo from Cookie the Knitter. And uh, it is this one. Uh, it is almost finished, but the thing is I have to sew in the hem. So uh, it is a folded hem, but uh, it's knitted like this. And uh, I have to do, uh, I have to sew it in so it is folded and it looks like this. So that's a pretty easy task, but I have been procrastinating on doing it. So I thought it would be a great chance for me to do it uh, while I chat it with you guys. Um, also, the yarn that I'm using for this is Drops Merino, uh, extra fine. And uh, I really love the color. And I recently actually saw that uh, it is really similar to the Dusty Artichoke one from Knitting for Olive. And um, I made a camisole um, a while ago with that color and the yarn itself is pretty expensive I feel like compared to like drops yarn and stuff um, so it was fine for making a camisole but for uh, doing like a whole uh, sweater or a bigger project it would get uh, a bit pricey so I feel like uh, I get the same effect uh, with the drops merino uh, it is the color pistache I don't know if I said that before but um it is pretty similar also the stitches come up so neatly with this one so i would definitely recommend uh, using this yarn um when i was first looking uh, for some yarn to use for this project i actually did not want to use uh, the drops merino because i used it for um for the Ingrid sweater before and I didn't really like it and also with blocking it didn't really uh, stretch the way I wanted it to but I couldn't really find another yarn that I really like to use for this one so in the end I felt like the qualities of the dress merino would be perfect for this one um, in a way that the stitches came up very neatly and also the colors that were uh, available with this yarn and I'm actually now very happy with it, um, especially because the color is just so beautiful. And um, after sewing the hem, which I'm doing now, I actually only have to do uh, some buttons that I bought. I've never sewn the buttons before, but uh, I have watched a video already on it. And it's supposed to be very simple, so that's going to be fine. <laughs> also, I really liked working this pattern. Um, I'm trying to make more patterns of smaller designers so uh, when I saw this one I really wanted to try it. I really love stripes uh, as well. When I was younger I feel like at one point 50% of my wardrobe was actually um, things with stripes. So uh, and I didn't even notice it at first and then some person said oh you really love stripes huh and I was like 
oh wait i didn't even notice but i really do because i keep on buying stuff with stripes and uh, over time when i became more aware of it uh, every time i went shopping i actually tried to not buy stripes so gradually the stripes uh, vanished a bit from the wardrobe but um, i'm trying to bring them back actually my next project that uh, i already bought the yarn for uh, also has stripes and uh, the look of it is just uh, amazing i haven't started it yet but i think uh, when the next podcast will air uh, i will have a bit of it done and i can tell you more about it um one other exciting thing about that one is that i actually bought some new needles um, I wanted to try some wooden needles for a while because I bought one needle set at the beginning of my knitting journey and it is the Knit Pro Zing set. It is the metal one uh, with the colors. I actually have it right here, I can show you. So it is this one. And I really love it and, and I've been using it till now and I have like literally no complaints about it. But uh, I have heard really good stories about wooden needles and um, I've been eyeing the Licka needles for a while and I've been saving up and I have bought them. Um, I can't say too much about them yet because I haven't used them yet but um, with my next project I want to use them and then I can actually say something about them about if I like them or not they are really pretty though so uh, for the aesthetic it is already a win <laughs> also besides knitting uh, I talked a bit about this in my knitting plants video is that I also want to explore more uh, of my other hobbies uh, or try out new hobbies uh, and one of those things is actually that I want to uh, work more on my sewing and um, one of the things about sewing is actually that I like the sewing itself a lot but the time that you're actually on the sewing machine is um, very little compared to all the other stuff that you're uh, doing so uh, for example with the pants that I am making now um, I actually had to go shopping uh, I went shopping with a friend for it first at a fabric shop and um, that took me like two hours because I couldn't find the fabric that I thought was perfect for these pants and then when I found it um, I also needed a lot of other supplies and I needed a lot of help um, with that because um, for example they said I had to use interfacing which I never heard of before and also um, I didn't know what the word for it was in Dutch so I was like interfacing interfacing and they were like uh, what do you mean and then uh, at uh, some point they were like oh okay I think you mean uh, it's called Flieseline in Dutch and um, they uh, they had it luckily and then uh, I got that one um, and also I didn't really know um, how long the zipper should be so in the end I bought a zipper and I'm just hoping that it fits but I think I can make the zipper portion a little bit shorter if it's uh, if it doesn't fit uh, so I think the zipper will be the least of my problems but um, yeah after that I had to like uh, print out the pieces of course and uh, they came on A4 size paper so I had to like put them together uh, in like a puzzle form and I don't know if it's just me but for some reason um, I felt like it was really hard to align them and keep them aligned so I had to take take it apart a few times and then do it again and then when I had everything aligned perfectly I could finally cut it um, and this all already took me four days and uh, that's where I am now with the pants so it's already so much work um, before even getting on the sewing machine and uh, now it's not even the time that I can get on the sewing machine because I still have to iron a lot. I feel like ironing is just the biggest part of uh, of sewing. 
um, I have to iron a lot of the parts. I have to iron the hem. Uh, I have to iron the interfacing on the different parts that need it. So um, it's like a whole project, which makes me not pick it up uh, that easily. But the joy that I get from actually getting a finished project out of it is so high that I kind of get motivated by that. So that's good. But yeah, I think that's uh, one of the things that makes me not pick it up as much. But I really want to develop my skill in it because I feel like if I do it more uh, than those a uh, little bit boring parts like cutting out the pattern and, and ironing and stuff uh, will be a little bit... Uh, more faster and easier and then I can just focus on the sewing because always when I uh, hear people or see like reviews on a sewing pattern people are like I made this in like two days and I feel like that's just not me I do not sew anything in two days because with every step I'm like wow this was a lot and then I leave it and then I do the next step another day so uh, with just the, the pattern printing, cutting, uh, the pattern printing, aligning and uh, cutting it, this already took me like two weeks. This is not me working on it every day, but um, I worked on it for a few days, but it's now two weeks later since me uh, starting on it. So if anyone has any tips on how to sew faster or get a bit more efficient i think is the word uh, with it i would love to know because i really want to be a great sewist uh, at some point um yeah i started this uh this journey of making clothes uh with the dream of actually owning a whole handmade wardrobe one day and uh, I really want to be able to make everything that I um, could think of of clothing so um, at some point I, I want to be uh, at the point where I can see something uh, like with someone wearing it or uh, just just in the mall or something and uh, actually being able to recreate it myself um, in my own style of course so not just copying copying other people <laughs> uh, because that would not uh, be too original but uh, yeah I haven't reached that point uh, quite yet I think I can read knitting patterns very well right now I've taken my first uh, steps into sewing and I feel like sewing is, isn't too difficult it's just uh, a lot of work and um, I really want to develop these uh, skills. Also, I don't think it's really necessary, but at some point I want to get like a mannequin. And I think it would be really useful, not only for sewing projects, but also for uh, knitting projects, because it's really hard when you knit the body right to get it over your head and your shoulders because the width of the cable is just not enough. So uh, with me, I always have to get like the needle, I have to screw the needles off, put like a cable connector, put another cable on it, and then put the cable stoppers on it, and then I actually can uh, try it on. And then when I'm done with that, I have to reverse all of it. I have to take the other cable off, uh, I have to take the cable connector off, I have to put the needles on it again. So um, it's a lot of work to get to try it on gonna take a sip of my tea uh, in the meantime the tea that i i'm drinking is actually so good i bought this chai tea um, i think it's from uh, clipper uh, a tea brand and uh, it's called spicy chai and it is the best thing that i have tasted in a while i really love chai lattes but uh, it is a bit expensive to be buying it every week. So uh, I found this uh, in my supermarket and I've been enjoying it uh, a lot. But yeah, I've also been uh, thinking of maybe at some point uh, trying to use um, a knitting machine. And uh, I saw a lot of people using like a plastic one, uh, like the round one, uh, where they just make panels. Um, I'm not sure if you can actually make other stuff with it, um, like a different stitch than stockinette. But um, 
I want to look into it because I like trying out new things and maybe for some like boring projects um, or gift knits which would be very handy I can use a knitting machine um, I've also seen people with like the big knitting machines that they also use in like the fashion sector or, or like the fashion schools um, that one just looks like uh, it would be so difficult to handle but I would love to try it out one day no hurry with it I'm very happy with just knitting by hand uh, and on the needles speaking of uh, fashion schools I actually have been watching a lot of vlogs of people going to fashion school and it has been so fun I'm actually trying to remember uh, which ones uh, I'm watching Karina Plum uh, her channel is just so fun and she goes to uh, a fashion school and, and she's now specializing in making bags and uh, I feel like it's just so cool to just watch people being creative and trying out new stuff and uh, in her vlog she also was using the knitting machine at some point and I felt like wow this is just so cool and also it was so super fast because knitting by hand is just uh, like one of the slowest things ever uh, but this one she was like going side to side and then there was like a whole panel that would take like uh, a week doing it by hand so uh, it was very fun to see and uh, I also uh, have been watching a lot of people um, doing like other kinds of art school so people that do illustrations people that uh, do paintings drawings and um, like everything that you can think of that they do at art school but i think that the fashion ones are my favorite and then like the arts like the drawing the drawing and the painting stuff and, and everything is just very relaxing to watch like i also try to uh, to draw but i just don't have the patience for it which is funny because i feel like knitting takes up so much more time than uh, drawing but um I tried it but and I was always very fascinated by it and very intrigued by um, other people's drawings and uh, paintings um, and also my mother uh, paints a lot she actually made uh, me a painting that uh, is in my house uh, I will try to put a picture somewhere here so you can see it and I just love to see uh, all the work that people come up with uh, by just being creative and I feel like it's just so inspiring to watch those things I also feel like I want to uh, do more uh, cultural things here as well uh, because of that and um, I want to go to more museums and stuff uh, to just check out because I feel like I, I'm doing that way uh, way too little but um, yeah a lot of plans as usual but we'll see eventually uh, what i will be uh, actually uh, doing this year um, and then one other thing uh, that i've been thinking of is actually i want to maybe teach like a sports class i've been going to the gym pretty consistently uh, the last few months and um, i really love spinning um, and boxing and also strength training and um, I really love it when the teacher is really hyped and uh, I feel like a good teacher uh, just makes your lesson so much better and you work uh, a little bit harder when your teacher is really like hyping you up in the right way so I've been thinking that I would like to try that out as well um, I don't know if you can just become a teacher uh, a sports lesson teacher actually but um, I feel like it would be so cool and also uh, you don't have to pay for like your very expensive gym membership anymore because you can just do your lesson and then have a workout yourself uh, as well so that will be cool to do like one day a week um, where I can do uh, that so yeah that's also one of my goals this year to uh, find out and to try out i do feel like uh, the gym has been great for my mental health um, 
I feel like especially in the winter time it can get a little bit depressing because you don't see that much sun and uh, it is very cold all the time so I feel like uh, in the winter time uh, my mood uh, gets a little bit more uh, down than in the summer uh, but by going to the gym I feel like it has been better uh, overall so uh, that's really nice and uh, I feel like knitting also helps a lot with it because it is so like meditative and I feel like it, it actually makes me connect with myself in a way I don't know if that's like a good explanation of it but um, yeah I think those two things really help uh, get my mood in the right way because some days it can be hard I mean I'm actually still looking for a job um, and it has been a bit hard because the positions that I am applying for are very wanted um, I feel like uh, everyone with like a communication marketing degree is going for the same kinds of jobs and uh, every job has like five rounds so um, when you get like through to the first round the second round or and the third round um, which mostly uh, you at least get through to like the second round then still uh, after like a month after you have done like four rounds you can still be uh, dismissed uh, after that and then you have put so much of your time and energy into it so that uh, actually is a little bit depressing uh, but I'm trying to uh, not focus on the bad things and uh, focus on uh, the positive things so um, I'm uh, just saying to myself with uh, every time something like that happens like at least you have some experience now and uh, what uh, companies would like to see and what you could maybe do better next time so I feel like that's a good thing that, sh uh, that you get out of it but um, I'm also just trying to look a bit more into other kinds of, kind of fields um, and uh, another positive about it is that I actually have lots of time to focus on myself and on my hobbies which isn't the worst position to be in and um, a lot of people have also been saying that uh, you never know when you get a chance again to just um, get some time for yourself and um, and do whatever you want so uh, I actually am also enjoying that a lot and uh, one last thing is that a while back uh, I went to Barcelona uh, because I have wanted to visit uh, Barcelona for a really long time and um, I uh, want to live in Spain as well at some point um, so uh, I have been looking at some other uh, cities in Spain to uh, visit as well because I feel like the vibe is so different at the different spots in Spain so I think like uh, Barcelona really was a bit like Amsterdam in a way that it is uh, like a really packed city a lot of people everywhere a lot of buildings uh, it is always busy and uh, there are also places that are like a little bit more quiet um, and have more uh, of like a little bit of a village vibe so um, I really want to experience the different kinds of scenes of Spain and then uh, see which one I like the, the best so I have been looking into it and I think that uh, I might go to Valencia uh, next um, which is so beautiful uh, for what I can see on the internet but yeah I have to save up first because it is not uh, not that uh, cheap to actually go to all these cities and um, also last time it was uh, cheap because I went by bus uh, and it took so long it took like um, a whole day to get there uh, so next time I I do want to go by plane and uh, by plane it should only be like two uh, till two and a half hours so that's uh, that's fine <laughs> um, also an update I um, talked about going to the physiotherapist and me thinking that uh, my body was refusing physiotherapy 
well i'm actually going to another physiotherapist uh, who is like also a manual therapist i don't know if that's like the right word but um he also um, focuses on how your bones are set so um he's been helping and uh, i feel like it's getting better so um it was not my body rejecting physiotherapy it was just not the right solution to my problem at that time so uh yeah i think that uh that will be it uh, because i am getting pretty hungry and i want to get some food to eat and uh also uh it is getting a little bit darker outside so i don't think that there will be enough light to uh, keep this up for much longer but uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got great progress on your project. And if you liked it, uh, please give it a like. Uh, if you want to see more of me and uh, if you are interested in my kind of content, uh, you can subscribe. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and uh, I will see you next time.